Hello everyone, this is Commander Akona and welcome to Elite Dangerous. And in this, uh, uh, let's call it pre-episode, I want to talk about some of the concepts of Elite and especially on how you can move your ship around and especially, again, how that is called. One of the great things in Elite is that you can move your ship around in many, many different ways. So, let's describe what you can do. First, let's have a look at uh, the right of the scanner. There we have a small outline of our ship we are currently flying. And what I especially like and what uh, facilitates our descriptions now is this outline mimics the movement I will want to make, especially the rotations. Now for the rotations we have three axes. Um, let's start with the first axis which is the long axis. It's the axis moving through your ship from the front to the back or from the back to the front and the movement around this axis you can quite easily turn around it, is called rolling. Here you can see rolling around the long axis. So later if you want to assign that to a joystick movement, that's called rolling. First one. Now, then there is the lateral axis. This is the axis moving through your ship from left to right or from the right to the left and moving along or turning along this axis is called pitch. Here you can see us pitching at our little schematic and out of there in space. Space without rocks and space with rocks. These are the two major motions in Elite Dangerous. Now there is a third motion along the vertical axis. This is the axis moving through your ship from top to bottom or bottom to top and movement along uh, or not movement along, movement around this axis is called yaw. Now here you can see us yawing around. Remember these uh, three movements rolling, pitching and yawing. Uh, you can all of course all move these together. These will become later very well important when we mention them quite often. Now, there are also movements now along, not around, along those axes. The most important one would be going forth or going backwards using your thrust. Or, this is very simple in the feet, specified through throttling up or throttling down. Let's put all energy to the engines so we can now go up to our maximum speed of currently 223, it's something like kilometers per hour. Now Elite also allows you to go backwards a bit. So let's throttle full back and you can see we cannot go the maximum speed we can, could go forward. Here we only can go 89 kilometers per hour. And uh, also we should look back, but we cannot do that in the game. So we have the scanner at the bottom, and the scanner at the bottom currently shows no obstruction. So let's come to a still stand and look at the other two axes which we can move along. Now we had the lateral axis and we can also move laterally. 
can move laterally a bit faster than we could move laterally uh, uh, than we could move backwards. All these movements can be done using your joystick or joysticks, your throttle or your keyboard, however you like. And finally there is the movement along the vertical axis or up and down. Also this can be done at the same speed like left and right. As you can see there are quite some possibilities to move around in Elite Dangerous. Ah, there's also the boost, which gives you a short, fast, well, boost. Depending on how much power you have set to your engines, you can boost more or less often. Now it is in your possibility how to move along all those axes and do not crash into others or go go beaten up. Like you can see it shows you when you would impact but that's for another time. So for now let's just uh, mention one last thing. In the original Elite there was no possibility to yaw. And I had the, p the chance to play the original Elite and, well, not only did I not like that, I could not play the game. But here it is possible. And of course lots of people managed to play the game without any yaw, just with rolling and pitching, which I think is quite cumbersome. But, like I said, lots of people managed and uh, I want to make a shout out to a really cool Let's Player called Zorzo, which just does this. He plays Elite on the original BBC Master 128, well, in, a, in an emulation, but it's still very, very impressive and he can really master the ship just just using pitch and roll. So just head over to his channel Zorzo Plays, I will describe it below, and watch the great adventures of Commander Zorzo in the original Elite. Okay, well then, that's it for this time. If you want uh, to stay in contact with me, then use my Twitter channel twitter.com slash okona one up and we will see each other soon see ya <laughs>